हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू जी एस कोर आई एम कृष्ण गुप्ता दिस इज द वन डे वन आंसर इनिशिएटिव वेयर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग सर्टन क्वेश्चन ऑन द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन विच वी हैव टेकन इन द प्रेजेंट टाइम बेसिकली वट वी हैव सीन दैट वी स्टडी अ लॉड ऑफ थिंग्स वी स्टडी अ लॉड ऑफ कंसेप्ट बट इन एग्जामिनेशन हाउ द कंसेप्ट आर बी प्रेजेंटेड हाउ दे आर आस्ड हाउ दे डिमांड ऑफ द क्वेश्चन हैज टू बी फुलफिल्ड इट इज अ secondary part here okay so here we will be seeing the first question of the day the question of the day that is what is a twister why are the majority of twisters observed in areas around the gulf of Qatar mexico okay so here if we look at the keywords what we have first is the twister second is the majority of the twisters in then around the gulf of mexico so this is the second keyword so here we are demanding certain concepts here and its spatial distribution its spatial distribution okay so if i look at the twisters twisters are basically they are nothing but they are atmospheric disturbances they are nothing but they are atmospheric disturbances there are other many at atmospheric disturbances like uh, tropical cyclones temperate cyclones there are water spouts okay there are uh, uh, we can say thunderstorms okay all this uh, the all these parts are kind of a thunder of the part of the atmospheric disturbances but what we see that how they are developed their developmental conditions are different their developmental conditions are different therefore they are different in nature therefore they are different in nature so what is very specific about twister twister they are also called as tornadoes they are also called as tornadoes basically if you look at the tornadoes tornadoes are formed because of the certain conditions where there is presence of cool air or cold air okay and there is presence or there is movement of warm air from the out down side okay so this is resulting into the formation of tornado it is basically a very fast rotating column of air it is a very fast basically follow column of rotating air which is also a supercell thunderstorm that is very important which is a very uh, which is intensifying into supercell thunderstorm these are certain conditions which we know which we should know to define that what is a twister its preconditions how it is formed what are its uh, developmental conditions then how this developmental conditions are resulting into formation of a twister let's look at it in the conceptual part let's look at it in a conceptual part now i have a cold air i have a cold air at certain altitude i have a cold air at certain altitude which is kind of dry in nature which is kind of dry in nature okay now in the second part what we should see here that this cold air it should meet a warm air okay it should meet a warm air from the downside it should meet a warm air, warm air from the downside so when there is formation of these two conditions there is presence of cold air and there is presence of warm air so this will result into the condition of instability this will result into a condition of instability in this junction where this cold air it is meeting the warm air where this cold air and warm air they are intermixing so here what will happen that there is a kind of a condition there is a region from where the warm and 
moist air the warm and moist air it is being supplied so this will result into a very strong updraft this will result into the formation of a very strong updraft okay so as this updraft is formed as this updraft is formed this will result into the formation of a low pressure conditions here this updraft it will not go in a straight manner this updraft it will basically go in a spiraling manner okay which will interact with the cold air mass which will interact with the cold air mass so as this interaction will take place at this interaction will take place there will be a very strong shear winds there will be a very strong shear winds so this interaction of these two air masses the the two airs that is the warm air and the cold air this will result into a condition of instability this instability condition will be resulting into the formation of various kind of clouds which are also called as meso clouds these are called as meso clouds so this will be resulting into this meso clouds they will be also consisting of cumulo nimbus clouds they will be cumulo nimbus clouds so there will be a kind of a condition there will be updraft which will be spiral in nature it will be spiral in nature and here we'll be seeing that there will be a, a spiraling nature it will be resulting into formation of clouds in this part and there will be a funnel will be formed which will be consisting of clouds there a funnel will be formed which will be consisting of clouds this condition this condition when it is formed it is called as the twister it is called as twister or tornado it will be called as twister or tornado the energy is supplied from this moist warm air the energy is supplied from the moist warm air okay it basically forms over the land it basically forms over the land but the same twister or tornado when it goes to the sea when it goes to the sea it is called as water spouts there it will be called as the water spouts so this is the condition what we see that that are essential these are the preconditions that are essential for the formation of the twisters now if you look at the stages of the formation of the twister if i want to i write this particular part in the answer okay now the first conceptual part was that is what are twisters now second conceptual part is why these twisters they are generally form they are found near and around the gulf of mexico so if i look at the gulf of mexico region it is basically part of the united states of america okay so this is gulf of mexico here we see that there is movement of the warm gulf stream there is movement of valve warm gulf stream because of the movement of valve warm gulf stream this region it is getting quite warmer this region it is quite warmer also second thing we can see here that this region it is also present very near to the equator okay it is present very near to the equator and the tropics because of its presence in tropics what we see that there is presence of the warm and moist conditions okay first is the warm and moist conditions we can see that it is been supplied from this side now if we look at the america part if we look at the america part so here we have presence of rocky mountains okay here we have presence of rocky mountains also we see that we have here the region of canada from where the cold air mass the cold air mass it is it moves towards the tropical region the cold air mass it moves towards the tropical region so we can see that when these two conditions are met when these two uh, opposite and drastic opposite air masses they meet for example the cold and dry air mass which is provided either from the rockies region or from the northern part of united states 
uh, northern part of northern america and the warm and moist air which is provided from the gulf of mexico region so when these two masses they meet when these two masses they meet this results into the formation of the tornado which we have seen just right now we have seen just right now now here we need to explain that how the what are the different stages of the formation of the tornadoes so in the structure of the answer in the structure of the answer in introduction we need to first imply that what is a twister what is a twister it is basically very fast column of rotating air okay column of air which is very fast and rotating up to 300 miles per hour okay this is the first uh, part where we can see that where we can see it is being provided second thing we need to see that it is generally found in the gulf of mexico okay my gulf of mexico where we see that here it is being provided with the warm and moist air where it is provided it warm and moist air now we also need cold and dry air this cold and dry air it is provided by the northern part of north america this is a region where we see the formation of the cold air mass where we see the formation of the cold air mass which is also quite dry in nature so when we see that when these conditions they are met this results into the formation of first thing is instability it results into formation of instability okay before instability if we see that there is first updraft of winds okay updraft of winds this results into the formation of thunderstorm conditions thunderstorm conditions when this thunderstorm conditions are formed and it results into the formation of super celled thunderstorm when it results into the formation of super celled thunderstorm this super celled thunderstorm it results into the formation of a funnel of clouds okay funnel of clouds where there is formation of meso clouds where there is formation of meso clouds and these meso clouds they are nothing but the cumulonimbus clouds cumulonimbus clouds okay so here we can see that there is formation of twister okay here there is cold air mass and here there is updraft has taken place this updraft is having a spiraling column of air and here there is formation of a cumulonimbus clouds have also taken place okay so when they are completely reach with the ground when this uh, spiraling part it has touched the ground okay and here there is supply of moist and warm air okay there will be movement of the water uh, the warm and moist air from this region it will be spiraling upward and there will be formation of the funnel and it will be resulting into the formation of clouds that is meso clouds or cumulonimbus clouds so this is basically a twister okay this is basically a twister now if we go ahead now if we go ahead this part we need to explain here how this formation of the Uh, different stages of formation is taking place now as we move ahead there is a stage where it is getting matured okay this is completely part of a mature stage okay after it gets mature we see that the supply of air the supply of the warm and moist air it is completely taken up from the down part okay this will result into the dissipation it will result into the dissipation stage where the completely warm and dry warm and moist air it has moved forward it has moved upward in the updraft form and it has resulted into the formation of clouds and there is dissipation of the 
twisters have taken place okay so the, in this way we can see that the storms get weakened because the supply of the moist and warm air is no more so it will result into its dissipation so this dissipation stage it is quite important so it will uplift this part here and the lower portion of this uh, funnel column it will be disappearing so all this complete part it will be disappearing and what will be remaining here those will be the clouds now we need to give here the uh, give here the part of that why there is regional presence of Gulf of Mexico. Why they are present in the Gulf of Mexico? Because Gulf of Mexico is providing warm and moist air, okay. And in the North American part only, there is supply of cold and dry air which is coming from the northern part of America that is the Antarctic part, sorry, the Arctic region or subpolar region. So, from the subpolar region, we have the contact of this air masses, this air masses they are resulting into the uh, frequent formation of the twisters, it is resulting into the frequent formation of twisters. For example, recently we have seen that uh, in the year of 2011 a very important tornado that is Joplin tornado has been formed. Okay, So, here the tornadoes they have tornado alley, Okay, they have tornado alley has also formed. Okay, this tornado alley it has extended from Texaco, uh, Texas to Canas. It has extended from Texas to Canas. So this was the extent of this. Uh, this was the extent of this twister. So basically, what we see here that the map should have to be provided here that where there is regional presence of this. Okay, we have to provide the map of North America. We have to provide the map of North America. This is Gulf of Mexico. And from here, the cold air mass is coming. And from here, the warm air mass is coming. And they are meeting, resulting into the formation of twisters. Okay, It is resulting into the formation of twisters. Now, what can be the way forward here? The way forward here for the tornado preparation, there should be improved forecasting. That is uh, the formation of air mass, the movement of air mass, how it is taking place, the formation of air mass at uh, Gulf of Mexico and how it is moving towards the northern side. It has to be mapped. It can be improved with the forecasting methods, including the radar technology and satellite monitoring systems. Then early uh, early, uh, early warning systems can also be prepared here. Then community awareness can be done here. Then infrastructure uh, strengthening is very important step which has to be taken here in the tornado alley. Okay? So here this region is very much impacted by the formation of twisters. Okay? So therefore public preparedness, uh, forecasting technologies and tornado resistant infrastructure they are quite important here which can help in reducing the impact of twisters or tornado in certain regions. So guys this was the uh, concept this was the one day one answer for the question what we have seen that is what are the twisters what is basically a twister and why are the majority of twisters observed in areas around the gulf of mexico with the stages of the formation of twisters with the concept and with the structures which we have seen here so guys see you in the next session thank you very much